Just one night after the deadly shooting, protesters are out again. Yeah, let's get outside again here to our Fox 12's Audrey Wheel. She is live for us in southeast Portland with what's going on as we speak and the feeling out there tonight. Audrey? Right, well, right now we're outside of the Kelly Penumbra building here on East Burnside. There's at least 100, maybe a couple hundred people out here. We have been hearing warnings like one right now from Portland police, but it's hard to hear exactly what they're saying because every time they come on the loudspeaker, protesters will boo or play music or things of that nature. Um, we haven't seen officers out here yet, but we have heard from mingling within the protesters here that it sounds like officers are staged up further on East Burnside here. Now, most of the people we approached in this group didn't want to talk to us tonight, but we did speak to one man who says even after what happened last night, he felt the need to be out at the protest. Kwame Ture says the goal is to get rid of institutional racism and abolish police so he can't take a day off, but he told us he does worry about violence. Earlier today, the mayor said there have been posts on social media about people seeking retribution after last night's deadly shooting. The mayor saying those people need to stay away. I asked Ray how he feels about that. It does worry me a lot, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I can't control it. And the way I look at it is better to die on my feet than spend one more life, one more day on my knees. So I'm here. And we have not seen any protesters on the other side of things at this point. We have seen several social media posts from people who know the man who died saying he was a patriot and didn't deserve what happened. Again, right now we do have this group gathered outside of the Kelly Penumbra building and we have heard warnings from Portland police. For now, reporting live in Southeast Portland, Audrey Wheel, Fox 12 Oregon.